Hello, my name is Teo Lee. I'd like to talk to you about some ways to make a good first impression on your classmates. I'm only 17 years old, but I will do my best to explain based on my own experience. How to make a good first impression on someone you don't know depends on the time, place, and the person you're talking to. First, a good way to make friends with children under the age of 10 is to call out something that most of their friends like to do. For example, who wants to play eraser tag and gather the kids around you, you will create an inner report because the attention is focused on you first. After you've spoken to them, you can talk to them about things you have in common, which will uh, you can then talk to them about things you have in common, which will help you get to know them quickly. You go to take on the to write, I'm telling you what's your name. And if they like the same things you do, you will be friends from then on. As an added bonus, it's a good idea to get to know your friends' friends so you can easily get to know them later, no matter where you meet them. The second is how to make friends with pe people you don't know after the age of 10. This is when you start to care about how you look, so you need to take care of the basics to avoid being disliked. Examples including washing at least once a day, changing your clothes even if it's not often, brushing your teeth after eating, and keeping your hair neatly groomed. These are the external basics that make you unlikable and now we will talk about the specifics that make us likable. First, an outgoing and pleasant personality is a low barrier to entry for making friends. However, not everyone can have this personality because some of it is inherent. There is something you can work on though, and that's being polite. When I say polite, I'm not just talking about being polite to strangers, but I'm also talking about being polite to your friends. A lot of people miss this, but being polite can make a first impression favorable, but it can also make you be perceived as a person of character afterward. Some of the basic elements of good manners include saying hello, not swearing at the end of every sentence, not touching the other person's body, not talking behind their back, and thinking before you speak. Smartphones probably take up the most of a teenager's time these days. While texting and calling friends frequently is an effective way to increase intimacy, it also has its downsides. It doesn't address loneliness because you're not talking face to face and it's hard to have an authentic conversation because it's hard to gauge how the other person is feeling. Plus, group chat rooms can be a place for clicks to from and every bullying, even bullying. In fact, there's one way to get all the benefits and not none of the drawbacks of making friends on a smartphone, sports. Lunch and dinner breaks at school, in particular, are a valuable time to get to know your friends. And if you mix it up with soccer, basketball, and other sports, you're bound to make a friends who cry and laugh together. Here's the number one concern of adolescent students, making friends of the opposite sex. I'm a guy, so I'm going to talk about this from a guy's perspective when dealing with girls. A lot of guys will do or say things to get a girl's attention. But the truth is that these things are more likely to lead to dislike than to like. Instead, it's best to avoid saying anything at all. And instead, creates a lot of inevitable situation that masquerade as coincidence. If you can be polite and tactful in these situations without overwhelming them, they will be a plus and lead to a happy ending. I wish you all a happy Christmas with your fa favorite friends and loved ones. Merry Christmas.